We're going live. Are we live? Ha <laughs> ha, we're live. What's up? It's Dig It. I got someone here to help me, and someone else here to help me, and someone else to watch, and someone else to watch. We are going to change my tire, finally, after like two years of needing it. Look here. That's bad. Really bad. So we're going to change it. Me and my videos, they say, but I just, I want to show this to the world. So if you guys want to do this on your own, you can. So we're going to break this tire down. We're going to balance it with that thing in the jig. As we see some albino's legs right there in the video. So I'm going to put you guys on my tripod. And we're going to get started here. Make sure I don't hit any buttons to lock you. You're going to see a lot of stuff you shouldn't want to see. Uh oh, it's falling apart. Oh well, that'll work. They're with me. Ugh. All right. So this is gonna be fun. We got one viewer. I wonder who's watching us. Someone's watching us already. They're watching me and a thumbs up. So where do we want to start? I got all my tools lined out. I guess we'll bring it over this way. Probably won't be able to see the chat much right now. Ah. Uh. I guess we should check. I said check the chain stretch, make sure it's not dead and needs to be replaced. There's this, so I'll need that. And this, and these, and this. And yeah. Oh. So, we should have Morgan Freeman, huh? This would be fun. Oh, so we're gonna start, we got a 17 and a 22. Don't you love that? And they're two stupid sizes. I guess I may just have to stop this because I don't know how many camera shy people are here. Huh? That guy? So we're gonna snug this up. I think that's big. It's the what now? Oh, not a beer, just a pop in a Yeti wannabe. gonna check the tension on your drive shaft <laughs> <laughs> make sure your chain doesn't need to be replaced yeah he's still young I'm sure his drive shaft has tension <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> yeah I guess I'm not gonna build yet because my yeah, your wife's seat she can sit right here on my mustache that's cool See if we can. I guess yeah, 12.6 inches isn't gonna work when this only goes to six inches, huh? Well, darn it. I had a problem. Yeah. <laughs> six inches is in enough something. Yeah. Well, and I don't have a tape measure. Maybe we just won't do that because I'm pretty sure mine doesn't. Supposed to go and count 21 pins and measure it. And if it's like on my bike, anyways, or this chain, 12.6 inches, if it's more than that, then it needs to be replaced. But you know what? I think we'll be all right. I've only got 10,000 miles on it. So we're going to skip that part. So you, you can join me whenever because we don't have any viewers right now. No one's watching. Are you doing it live? Yeah, of course we're doing so it live. So is it actually filming too? It'll, when it's done, yeah, it'll be. Maybe oh, an actual video? Yeah, it'll be a live video or a replay. Yeah. How many viewers you had already checked out, huh? Do what? 
The one viewer you had already checked out? Yeah. Oh, did you have one? I had one viewer and one, or what they liked it. They took off. Probably thought I was doing another. Probably like, get those out of the garage and bring it back up to where they could watch TV <laughs> or watch their phone. Yeah. Work on it. <laughs> yeah, what were, what were yours? Uh, 20... 27 and 24 the on your um, dr rear axle, They're the nut, 24, 24 and 26, because they were two different sizes, right? Because mine, um, mine's a 22. No, they were, one, they were one size as an Allen wrench and then the other one. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, well, that was the front. Oh, that's the back. Did the, the back? Same. Yeah, back Okay, yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, so it's right there on the drive I've slept since then, dude. What am I doing? I don't know. I didn't realize, like, when I was greasing up the chain again and looking at it, I didn't realize how beat up my rim was. I think that the tire, I've only had one tire change on it, mm -hmm. so I'm kind of upset to see that it got nicked up pretty good. So, oh shoot, I guess I'm going to have to take that off. course it's something I don't have over here. <sighs> Dang it, Daddy, why didn't you tell me I needed another one there? Stay inside or not, so I guess I can leave the garage open. I didn't even check. Did, do you know if Harbor Freight has those little like scissor frame yeah. jacks? Like what I showed you that I said would be nice to have for oh, yeah. the mm -hmm. tire part? over here to show them what we need to do, huh? Yeah, well. Huh. Well, I've never seen a doodad like that. got a spring on here. Yeah, I've got one on mine. I've never, I haven't seen that on other bikes that I've worked on. Really? Yeah. I think it's to help keep your pedal from bouncing. Huh. Well, that's interesting. You know what I mean? Since you step on it, it pulls that lever. Mm -hmm. That way, when there's no tension on it, your pedal doesn't sit there and, and bounce. Yeah, I've, I've never seen that before. Let them see it. Let that. Let them who aren't even watching see. That we've got that. Hey, I've never seen that on anything. I don't know. The easiest way to. I should have taken my bags off here, huh? So I can just wiggle that off from there. Surely. It's really hanging up on that back side. There we go. 
<laughs> yeah, I've just, I've never seen that spring like that before. That's interesting. What are you wooing? Can you bring me a rag? Just one from up there. Just one of the blue ones. I've got them, both, all, all my rags sitting right up there. Hey, yeah, from the top. sticky in there. Daddy. Here. Thank you, kiddo. Are you looking there at you the go. phone? Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you yourself. doing? <laughs> on <laughs> well, that'll let them see everything they need to see. No one's even watching. No one, no one cares about us. You know? Two. Two. I didn't think to probably move that chain. Oh, you don't have your nozzle on your sprayer. On my what? Your sprayer. Yeah, it's going into the taxi. Your air compressor. No. It looks really dirty. But I got my little trailer for the gold ring there. Look how long it's going to be able to get you a full. Oh, no. I got a little chain guard. What's locked in place where, huh? No, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, got it. Hey, sit on your Ooh, that's a sexy looking shaft right there. about that. Mine didn't. Get this oh, skanky chain. I would say it's not even on there now, so. Oh, oh balls. Why do I always forget about that kind of stuff? Got the, uh, I don't even know what side that is. The uh, support arm or whatever for the, for the brakes down there. Yeah. That's probably what 14. Dang it, I thought I had all my tools ready for him. I'm working with about a four. You're working what? I'm working with about a four. <laughs> so I don't even need a torque arm anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like a torque strap now. It's kind of Oh. Uh. oh, and of course, there's a nut on the back side, huh?
Oh, man, I wish I had my toolbox. I wish I had my toolbox so I could organize all this crap. Instead of digging through boxes and bags. That's what I'm feeling. I've got to get so toolbox. I need to get something. I've got that one in there from the golf course, but it's just so junky that it kind of sucks. on there pretty good, huh? Since you guys can't even see it. Hi, buddy. Are you wet? <laughs> Could use a little bit of cleaning, huh? And we got the tire. saying over there? Okay. Oh. Gotta take the valve stem out, the core. Oh. Then we'll be able to really test the uh Oh, 
I bought one when I first moved out to the Dodge. More work. Uh -huh. Pretty decent size. It's four foot deep, but I'll make more like 16 foot diameter. Man. Looks like I got yeah, some. Set it in the backyard, filled it. Bearings feel good. Good work. Filled it and went to work Monday. Potted in hell that day and went home. Said, yeah, I'm going to jump in my pool and cool off. Yeah, right. Walked around the corner. That's how it's flatter than hell in the backyard. It's going to go from the middle. So it's split out. Never even been used. Oh, it's kind of split open. I packaged it up, took it back to Walmart. Well, we're out of stock. I'm like, what? They give you a I just got it. Uh -huh. Not even a week ago. Oh, we're out of stock. I'm like, well, get a new, as soon as you get a new shipment in, let me know. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a seasonal item. We won't get any more this summer. That's the stupidest. What the? Mid-June, we'll stop getting them. No. That's the way it is. Beginning of June to mid-June, all of our swimming pool gone. Oh, and that's when people start swimming. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, balls. I don't know if you can order them online or not. Yeah, you can. Yeah, so I had a guy come in, he wanted the, the summer wave. Got the old weights off. Our, our basic, our stand, because we sell Coleman and we sell, oh shit. I thought it was Damon Bowes on here. The summer wave and the Coleman. Right. He wanted an 18 footer. Well, all we have in store is a 16 footer. It's like, He's like, well, I don't want the Coleman. No one, no one the 18 foot summer wave. Coleman 18 footer was like 400. If that. Got the weights. The summer wave 18 footer, $720 online. I'm like, it's, wow. For the 16 footer, it's only like 250. Why the hell? So either go with the Coleman, which I'd go with that bit. I feel like that's probably going to be better than any of them. Those are the fancier ones. Those are the ones that are brown on the inside. Right. They look nicer. <sighs> All right, Daddy, what do we do next? You don't know? I ain't paying attention, bro. What? I'm, I was a sneaker in this part of the class. <laughs> All right. Well, you were broken a tire before? The bead? Um, Try to. Let's see. I'm trying to think of which side I want to try to pull it off of. Best. Huh? Except for right here, like I said, where it looks like you may have slipped trying to do the work on it. Flip this around. There we go. Oops. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm wondering, but I just don't know how much I want to. way more tools out than I thought I was going to need. Let's see how easy it's going to go. I'm going to pretend that I've never used these on my trailer tires, but hopefully these will work better on a motorcycle tire than a trailer tire. All right. Motion Pro, don't let me down. is in view. Oh well. I haven't had time to record and edit video, so I guess it's just going to be whatever it is live. Live and ridiculous. Yeah, with that, those trailer rims, holy cow, that was so difficult. 
Yeah, that's just it. Are those the uh, stomp rooms? Yeah. Yep. So, do this. Oh, shoot. I got a little piece of wood that that guy said works perfectly, especially with motorcycles. It's like a little one by. Oh, and like cuts, he just put it in there in a couple spots just to keep it in drop dead center. Oh. Bye, buddy. And, uh, yeah, I just set it in there. It's supposed to work. Just yeah. hold it perfect. <clears throat> but I got some of these. But I'm not even sure if I need one. But as a just in pass. All right. So. Best on this bizite. This is where I wish I got just a couple more rim protectors. Yeah. I think some people use like little pieces of cardboard. Yeah. I think some people even use, like I said, just some cardboard. Yeah, I probably should have just taken that sprocket off of the just in case. I guess I should have sprayed my soaky water on here. Just a little bit of rubrication. Yes. That's one side done. We'll moisten her up a little bit. Because we all have that one friend that does not like the word moist. <laughs> <laughs>
That was a close call. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You gonna be okay? Oh yeah. Do I need a piece of make it? So good inside her. Okay. You can do that. Uh, oh, pinch my own freaking fingers. <laughs> yeah, I say a lot of times you can just kind of pour it. Push just enough around. This way, will it slip right off. But... There. Maybe we should just. Oh, oh damn! I'm just here protecting you. Yeah. Here, let's. Maybe let's go ahead and lay it down. It's okay, I don't have enough viewers anymore on, well, enough viewers to be labeled as a YouTube partner, so it's not like I can make money off of this anymore until I get more people, so I can say what I want and do what I want and get away with it. <laughs> It is coming from especially with that sprocket right there. Right in the tire. tires at work. It's car tires and we have a big machine that makes it a little bit easier. If it was one of my other bikes, I wouldn't be too worried about the rim. There we go. Oh. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I probably would have lost all this. Yeah. See, it looks like we got quite a bit of water in there at some point. I think the bearings, bearings are still good. I'm worried about that. Maybe I will just set this aside for the time being. 
Now the fun part of putting the new one on. So sprockets on this side, so they're gonna go this way. So rotation, go get this way. Which means, grab El Nuevo Tyro. And it's going to go this way. And that dot there is a dot on this side. So this dot should line up with the valve stem up here. So that's there. Right there. Alright, so we should spray this side first. Oh, you just spritz me on my knee. Is it good for you? <laughs> Usually you can just get it positioned somewhat right, be able to slip it on there. See, I think I don't know the best trick. Keep the rim from sliding. Stop you too. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have my birds ready. <laughs> Oh, Bubba. Abel, no. <clears throat> Sorry. You're fine. No, 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 no. Hey, Abel. Well, at least he knows what to do with it. <laughs> yeah, if something doesn't work, like the batteries die, he'll run to the kitchen and grab the set of screwdrivers. Hey, can you bring that wild cherry water out of the uh, freezer, please? If I can get it all the way on this way, I won't be able to, but it'd be nice. A 
there. And it's on. <coughs> Boom goes the tire. Alright, so. Darn near. Almost right across. Yeah, now the only thing that stinks is that I don't have an air hose attachment that will let. Well, I've got the locking chuck, but I don't have anything that will actually let me do it without the valve still. Or the cord. Uh, yeah. I've seen some on Amazon. You can get a two pack for like 10 bucks. Hey, I can't get that. I just need to bring it. I mean, it's yeah. almost. Roll up toward you, the rim. Um, yeah, just a little bit. Okay, I think that should work right there. Now, let's see. I've always just bounced them. Yeah. Sometimes helps pop feet up around them. And so we'll put the core back the on. Up there. Almost there. It's break time. Oh. oh yeah. That's a beautiful looking tire, huh? <laughs> Sexy. But I think it was shipped through like Longhorn Moto. Mm -hmm. I think it was a company. And they're the ones that also um, Shift the balancer as well. Um, so, yeah. All right. I know I was looking at tires on Walmart with some motorcycle tires too. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. They're, uh, they're distributed for motorcycle superstores. So, the janky tires. Oh, shit. Oh, like, really? That's who I want. Oh, no, I want. That's where I got mine, yeah. Damn. All right, well. This is always the fun part. Trying to push it. Other side, just enough. I, I do have another ratchet strap, so I mean, we could always just slip one on. And You get it on the rim. Mm -hmm. I said, I think this, this is where I would, ow, trying to bite me, where I'd benefit if I actually had a, a compressor that had a little bit more output. Yeah, a little more volume to it. This one just, what I have is not.
There she's going. Don't bite me like you did last time. <sighs> All right, well that wasn't too bad. Hold on to your nuts. What? Gonna okay, fucking set set the beat on a freaking semi tire. Dude, that's fun. I hope Larry changes the tires on his blaster. <laughs> yeah, the big like freaking Why seven gallon tank with a beat setter. Do what? Compressor should be kicking back on. I can tell I'm losing. Oomph. There she starts walking slowly. slowly. I think I should spritz her a little bit. Spat her. Spit over on that side of the beat and bounce her. I don't know. I said I know we've had it on enough to where it should be. Oh, unless somebody touched it. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh. breaker. Someone must have wiggled the power cord, so it's like your garage where it's like hanging and there's no boom behind it. It's almost there, isn't it? Oops. We're almost there. Okay, I'm like, um, it should be kicking back on. Why is it not? I know I turned it on because it pressured up before yeah. I even. Slip it in there. Come on. Close enough. Now we got to the max that. Um, I always read that I always read that it said to put that uh, run both tires at four. And then I was checking again the other day and it said 29 on the front and 33 on the rear. And I'm like, since when? Now thinking about it, I wonder if that was my old bike I was thinking of, my KZ. You still have a decal on your bike as you would. Yeah, and that's the thing. I've read it, and I swore it said 40, front and rear, but it mm -hmm. doesn't. Don't have a work on it. Yeah. i get this cleaned off a little bit. Well, that went a lot smoother than I honestly thought it would. Your sticker's on the other side, isn't it? No, it's, it's right over here in the swing arm by the chain. Oh, you mean for like the weight and everything? Yeah. I think. Alright. Yeah, 29 and 33. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, running cold. Yeah, I don't know why I was thinking 40. So I wonder if that's why there's such a thin I think I run mine bald spot on mine. I think mine's like 35. 
you know, I've got to go. Now, check it again, make sure it's not leaking. Yay! I think we might have done something right for once. That doesn't happen very often around here. That's always my biggest fear doing something like this is just screwing up the rim. Because those rim protectors they only do so much. So you've never seen a tire on a motorcycle get balanced, have you, Dave? Oh, balanced. I kind of want to ride it to see what it's like. Do what? That's a huge difference. Oh, I got my gauge right here. Is that the two different weights, or is it all just one? So let's do what? Solo riding? Yeah. The whole train. They're both the same. Same pressure. Yeah. Uh, now I need to just find a spot that's a little bit more level. Probably up here. And then I'll show you guys my awesome balance. Oh, look at that. That's darn near perfect right there. Be a thirty three. Oh, thirty six. Did I take my Allen wrench? Okay. That is a three. Okay. Oh, really? So hopefully you guys will be able to see this as well. So we're going to set this up and so we've got our rod with our cone on it. Got it at what? Oh, so we put this cone here, slide this other cone. Through. Oh, man. So, yeah, if you need to stretch that a little. Where did I just put my Allen? It's right there. It's so nice not having to air my back tires every damn ride. Alright. So my we've got this on both sides. I'll say, is that the one you were having problems with on our way back from the lake that one time and you just chucked it in the ditch? Yeah. <laughs>
actually, I think that's when the screw vibrated out of the bottom end. Yeah, the seat. Yeah. Swung sideways and damn near took the engine out. I don't remember, right? I think so. I'm gonna have to use your knife, dude. My knife. Yeah. Look, it's already moving for me. Looks like we got another person on. Oh, someone was on there. No one's chatting with us. Oh well. Yours in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got his and it was just. Oof. Really? It took forever to settle. Back one wasn't as bad, was it? Well, they both took about the same amount of weight. Yeah. The uh, exact same amount of weight. Mm -hmm. All those corn outs? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Book knife. So we start with Um, uh, I'm trying to remember. I cleaned it off. I think. Yeah, I think they were over on this side before. So yeah, they were. Very usually. Yeah. So let's, let's start with four. I think I pulled off four. careful what you wish for because you hit a bump and you're sitting on it and you'll go back. Let's take it off and sell my bumps. <laughs> This concrete hurts.
fucking hand down. Ow. Shit. Oh, let's try and come back a little more this way, but oh, that's, that's what we need. Right there. I'll say your weights haven't fallen off yet, have they? We good? All right. And that is how you use the Bike Master motorcycle wheel balancing true and sand. Just like that. Now we got to put the whole thing back on. Yeah, it's like there's a lot of moisture that's gotten in there. I don't like that. Uh oh. Washer. Car washer. No. Car nose. Yeah. Right, and that's the thing, I try not to yeah. spray some things very much. Keep your water away from it. Yeah. Oh, So if you ever need to get your wheels balanced, just oh, let me know, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't like the way that looks. Back to the bike. Da, 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 da. Anybody else on here? Nope. 66 minutes. We've been like, my phone's going to be dead. All right. I need to clean this. Those brakes are nasty on this bike. Jeez. <laughs> Since you got what? Air Since I got air, it's tired again. Yeah. Alright, set that down there. Yeah. I've noticed before, but I didn't really pay any attention, but I just can't believe how chewed up that rim got from the last time it had everything changed. Oh man, this is skanky stuff right here. You gonna change your own tire next time then? Or are you gonna have me do it? Yeah, we're going 
get red shop rags anymore out of work. Really? Mm -hmm. Charging was 46 bucks a bundle every week. Jesus. And there's only 25 rags in a bundle. God. I wonder how much the oh. college has to pay. Do they uh, bring them in? Yeah. Then they. Yeah, they just Is it like Airmark or something yeah. in the first or yeah. whatever? Centos. It's what? Centos. Oh, we still have out there. Oh, okay. They just come in, bring a new bundle, take your little washer. Yeah. 46 bucks a bundle every week. Shit, you no got one of those going. Yeah, just in my department, they bring at least eight or ten bundles. How is their option on buying them and just wash them? Or well, they buy like those. Blue shop towels that he's using, but they're, uh -huh. they're kind of a red ripstop type looking yeah. shit now, and they ain't working damn. Actually, I think they're less important than what the red rags are. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's all pretty clean, huh? Mm -hmm. Did you get this on? No, uh, it's from Napa. Oh, okay. Well, it was Napa. I don't know if Napa the new Napa have. still has the same line or not. Mm -hmm. The one great vendor. Still a decent amount of grease in there. I wonder if I should put some more since I. Yeah, some I've never done. Never had to grease my little burns. Yeah. I'm not saying I had never had to do all of that shit. Right. Uh, this is all. Oh, well, that's a different color. They say a lot of times don't mix the colors. But oh, really? Mm -hmm. I imagine a lot of that though is just temperature range. I found some 40 weight oil for that trike. Really? The only place on everybody in Dodge City, everybody that even remotely can post a handle on oil, and that was the only place that had it. Okay. Oh, I have to order it in the 50 weight if I need it. So oh, shoot, this came out of here, didn't it? I don't know, you're in the label, that's like pull it. It was in there like you that. How much oil that VW motor holds? Uh uh. And they, they don't even use a oil filter. Oh, really? It's got a strainer. Just a strainer screens all that's in it. Five pints. Five pints at all? Two and a half quarts. Jesus. What up, girl? Huh? What up, girl? I mm. win. <laughs> you win? You just sleep. <laughs> good. He looks at me and goes, you want to take a nap? He's like, no, no, no. <laughs> and I'm like, we're going to go in the room, so he... Put shorts on him because he kept taking his diaper off running. And then he put shorts, he screamed for like five seconds. All of a sudden, I hear him yawn real big. And he goes, Oh. <laughs> I went in there and he's I like, oh. Are you vaping, bro? <laughs> Here. Trying to get you wet? Yeah. All you gotta do is ask. Thank you, Little mister. Oh, really? Yeah. You just pump it and. <laughs> All right. Oh, I think it's time to. Where's he going to do that? Slip this. Uh, do you remember where we got those? I thought it was at Walmart. Yeah, it's in the camping stuff. Because really? we got them before we went on a long bike ride. Oh, that. Before we went on that yeah, bike ride. That would be good going down the highway. Yeah. Is this gluten free water? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. What? Uh, misplaced. You need to have it for now if you want. Natural Springs out of Arkansas? It's my <laughs> cool. screw. Right there. The pluggers definitely get you pretty wet. Oh, yeah. I just ate Abel this morning with some piece of water and they ain't like this. Yeah, we'll seven mile an hour down the highway. I want you to go up here pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We went to that. Shit, you might have to reach out there in order to get it. <laughs> you run into it, you don't spray yourself, you just run into it. Maybe you gotta spray it away. Yeah. I wanna get a bigger one. That'd be fancy. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 I was gonna look on Amazon. I forgot to look. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, just, I just tie that to pump you up to your freaking bar and then just go yeah. around. Because yeah, once you pump it, it uses it until the pressure is completely gone. So you don't have to pump it every time you spray. You just put the tap water in. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm going to break my brake pads. Yeah, it cool. goes for a while. Yeah, I've got a little bit of life left in those. Yeah, it'll use the inner half of that. Uh. <laughs> well, most people won't sit there and just hold on to it until it's gone. Well, that's it. Uh-oh. Oh. I'm trying to see how far I can get away with before I gotta pump her up again. <laughs> you might have to do that. You might be able to get the whole thing empty. But it's probably pumping. You're probably right, so we got Yeah. I do. I think we got it. Back back here. I have to check the map. I thought about ordering a bunch for from Amazon if they had like a, a set. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Those be cool for Labor Day, especially when you're walking around all damn day. Yeah, just take your ice water and... Ah. Yeah. I'll put a fucking call on him, bitch. <laughs> Vodka. Come on. <laughs> there you uh, go. Uh, uh, give me a spritzer. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll go fill it. Why is it burning my <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure I haven't been drinking. I've been spritzing. <laughs> it's hot out here. Dude, we should start that shit. <laughs> Fuck you all vaping. We're spritzing. Well, I smell <laughs> alcohol. Well, uh, yeah, I put vodka in my spritzer. <laughs> Take it from the tap. It evaporates faster. Cools you off quicker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Haven't you ever been through chemistry class? Take it in the butt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me know how much for you. Yeah, burn like a motherfucker. You see me screaming down the street. Oh, yeah. Don't do it when you got a shaved thing. Help shrink him to my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Helps protect against flare ups. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, for preparation H is awesome for fucking mosquito bites, man. Is it? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Get a mosquito bite that starts itching really bad or anything. Oh, shit. <laughs> My bad. Oh, I was like, uh, I think the bottom is broken. Did you already pump it? My bad. Not yet. Uh, probably already had pressure yet. Uh, oh, man, you get a mosquito bite or something. Grease on the itching. Just get you a little preparation dot of preparation H. I guess if it helps It'll be the itching over here. Yeah, it takes the swelling and itching and everything down. Do you still have water there? Yeah. Oh shit, I need a nap. Oh, I know, me too. Yeah. I'll I'll drag it ass on here, but I'd probably break it. All four wheels will go. Well, we, we got new tires, go we got a balancer. Go Do what? So we got new tires, we got a balancer, shit, we hook you right back up. <laughs> Danny, text me, and she's like, Are you not coming up? I said, I can't handle this. She's like, It's not that bad. I'm like, It's hot. And they have pictures of Chloe, and she's also like, coming from the person who says that, <laughs> oh, there's no bad weather up here, but there's tornado warnings on the other side of the lake. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. She's like, this weather's fine. Just come up. We're like, no, we're going to wait it out. She just come up. And we're like, Danny, there's tornadoes literally across the lake from you. No, there's not. It'll pass. I'm like, I'm just... everybody's tense. She was probably a little older than you when we were at the lake all the time when storms came in on Memorial Day. <laughs> Probably remembers that shit a little better. Well, it was like heading right where she was at, and I'm like, Where did you guys just put the damn babies? And she got pissed at us for not coming up. We remember when we were up there in the slide in camper and the pickup, and all uh-huh. you guys took off with the shower house, and I stayed with the camper. Yeah. Yeah, I met the ceiling of that son of a bitch. <laughs> face first. Yeah, I, I even had all the all four corner jacks down, you know, they used to jack the camper up when you pull the truck out from under. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had all four of those jacks down on concrete yes. blocks and had that semi stabilized and they all took off and went to the shower house. Like so much just like a rocking like this and all of a sudden it picked the whole truck and camper and everything up. Bam! Straight oh, face shit. first into the roof. <laughs> like, yeah, I should have went to the shower house. <laughs> Got out, shit there were campers. I mean campers, yeah. literally. Went by us and were laying in the water. 
tents blowing all over the place. Oh, people's bedding and shit. Yeah. Don't even look right over the top of those. Hello, I remember when Casey took off a big toenail oh, too with the shower yeah. door. Ah, oh, cute. Five minutes after we got there. Yep, and then she kind of spent the whole time right there. So mom's like, let's yeah. go home. I'm like, ah. Ah, yeah, we got it. Yeah, you know those heavy ass doors for the shower houses? We were ra racing to the <clears throat> door cause to put our swimming suits on. Uh -huh. Casey yanked that bitch open and tore her whole entire big toenail off. Oh, went right over the top of her table. They had to take her up to the first aid view. Whatever it is. And they said, that sorry. Oh, uh, um, no. Yeah. We're on the north side. Yeah. And they're like, sorry, Casey, you can't swim. I'm like, what the hell are we doing here still? <laughs> well, you know, they should have ruined everybody's home for your stupidity. Yeah. Uh, I, I was thinking this day all off, she could go swimming. If not, she couldn't. No, because they said the bacteria in the water could get yeah, in her toe and infect it. Big ass yeah, open sore, yeah. yeah. So I had to wait till it at least start over. Uh huh. <coughs> before she did. Does anybody live across the street? Yeah. yeah. Better people now? Um, some guy that we don't even associate with. Like, he doesn't talk to anybody. He kind of keeps himself. He's totally okay with me. Better than Sierra. Yeah. I still can't believe Yeah, cops coming over How every freaking week with Sorry. drug bugs. How long was she there? Um. Yeah, she's there for several months. Fucking came over here and asked Derek and I, can we bug off your internet? We'll give you a couple dollars, at least twenty dollars a month. She's like, we'll be your guest, or we'll be the on the guest Wi-Fi. Like, no, you're not using our internet. Yeah. And she freaking came over here. I was seven months pregnant and tried to talk to me the whole freaking time. She's holding a baby in her arms, smoking while she's gonna blow every little inch of smoke in my face. I finally said, hey, if you're going to talk to me, go down there. Because I'm sick of it. Blowing smoke in my face. She's like, I'm sorry. She's like, I just get in a habit of blowing people's faces. I'm like, why? Like, well, I feel like you're going to put on the edge. Idiot. Uh, I don't even know where she's at anymore. Is she here at Ramsey? Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah, I don't know. Nasty old thing. Yeah. Yep. Have you seen Jace's baby? Just like him. I haven't been on Facebook for weeks. Jeez. I text Ashley. I said, hey, Grandma. She's like, excuse me, I'm Mimi. <laughs> she do not call me Grandma. I'm like, well, you're Grandma. Nope. Ashley. Nope. Ashley. <laughs> well. She's Grandma? Yeah, her 16-year-old son had a baby. Yeah, she has three boys. And then one girl, right? What's his, what's his name? His? You said Jace? Jace. 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 No, he's got, I think, one. And then she's got three with him. Yeah. Dude. And this is her daughter who looks identical. Yeah. Oh, shit, I know. Yeah, she's yeah. on this part. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, she got a baby? Yeah. Oh, but your old friend is. She's a, a lift bitch. <laughs> All right, so you're yeah. smart. Yeah. Yeah, she's very wealthy, and the parents yeah, are trying okay. to pay Grace yeah. off to get it go away. But Ashley's like, hell no. He's going to be there to support him and take care of him. Like, we'll pay him to go away. Pay hey, Phil's in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they're a rich family and they don't want to be known for him knocking up their daughter. But I think she's uh, 18. Are, him and, are her and Louise still together? Back together again? Uh, I don't know. They kind of keep going back and forth. Right. But at least Ashley's got her shit together now. Yeah. Say, uh, he's, uh, it doesn't mean he looks like Jake. He's, uh, got a little dark 
from around here. Yeah. Sorry, I forget him now, wasn't he? Yeah, you're right. I think so, too. I don't even know if I still have a Facebook account, to be honest with you, after, after I dropped my phone, that some bitch would do some weird shit. Well, Gail messaged me yesterday yeah. and asked if you unfriended her. Do what? Gail. She said you, that you unfriended you and Aaron on Facebook. And she's like, what did I do to your dad? No, I didn't. I said, I don't know if his Facebook's working right now, but... No, I, I turned my phone on and it could go to... The, any one of the different number of apps all by itself and just take off and just start. Oh, geez. Okay, I, I, I even responded to shit on Next Tech Classified ads that I'd never responded to. Oh, you know, somebody else was on my Facebook account, which yeah. that bitch figured out my password again, I'm gonna be mad as hell. How many times I've had to change it? Yeah. She must have spent hours just sitting there typing in different passwords. I wish I had it so many times it would lock you out. The last one was Dodge Ram fan. She figured that one out. I couldn't, I have no clue how to do it. Yeah. I'll bet you a hundred bucks that bitch got on my Facebook and started unfriending people. Yeah, because Gail messaged me. When did it happen? Uh, she you messaged know. me yesterday and said, hey, did your dad is no longer on Facebook? I said, I think he's still. She's like, oh, well, I don't know what I did, but he unfriended me then. And Aaron. Send the old message, tell her as soon as I get a phone back up and operate, and I'll go through and check and okay. pick them back up again if they are eliminated. So I get, that, that could have been my phone, too. I don't know. Is that one not working anyway? No. I can get on Wi Fi at work and try down. Downloading the rest of my apps and stuff, you know, say, uh, no, no internet connection, check your Wi Fi and data, make sure it's on. And, and I had one of the guys yesterday at work that's pretty handy with phones. He, he worked on it for three or four hours in the office. And I don't know what's wrong with it. <coughs> Fine, working fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, outside of that problem, one night, you know, I plugged it in on my charger. Got up the next morning and unplugged it when the screen popped up. It was an emergency call, and you had to have a PIN number, punch in to unlock the phone. And I had to call and have a factory reset done on it. That was my biggest complaint was, you know, was an internet deal until that happened. Well, I was going through doing the factory reset on it. I asked him, I said, well, connection problem? Oh, yeah, sure. Not a problem. You'll, you'll be good as new. logged into by an unknown device or different device and it'll show the time that I've been trying to log in but it'll show an address out of like Ohio and up around that area. Well, it, it was me. I mean, that, it was the date and the time oh, that I was trying well, to, you were, to log in to download so stuff. My, uh, my phone has a screwed up fucking, uh, location service too, like um, when I go to Redbox, mm -hmm. it'll tell me I'm, like, go to, 
like the one at Quick Shop or whatever. It's like, oh, you're 14 miles away. No, no, I should only be about uh, half a, a block and a half. Yeah. So, is she? I wonder if your navigation or your uh, your pinpoint is. That's why I say it's something internal on the phone screwed up. Yeah, because like I said, this. Gail says, okay, sounds good. Tell him not to worry about it. And then she said, tell him I say hi and miss him. Where is she live? Syracuse. Syracuse, okay. I was thinking, yeah, hopefully that way it's the same right direction. Right? Yeah, hopefully it's out there. Just not to Syracuse, over there. Way up towards Long I-70. Right, right. But I mean, it's just north of there. Well, northeast, I guess. Yeah, Syracuse, Syracuse is west, way out west, by the border. Western Gardens. Yeah. Yeah, we're out of there. Huh? Looks like you're out of Well, it doesn't seem like this. The great housing is sitting like it should, and then I can't get this with the spring here to get the to You're amazing how much you learn on YouTube and stuff. I love YouTube. I'm always looking at shit, trying to learn. Yeah. There's a lot. I was surprised with some of the stuff that they show. Like she gets so amazed stuff. because I went and made my own manometer yeah. to balance carbs or oh, sink yeah, them. Yeah. Which it's just some clear tubing so you can see it, some transmission fluid since it's heavier. Yeah. And then you just hook it in with the vacuum lines on the carbs and uh, call it good. <laughs> so. Google Security Alert. Uh, new device signed into the, my email. Well, if you hard reset it, it should completely take all that out. From. That's the only thing I was able to get was my contacts and my Gmail. Huh. No Facebook, no nothing. Ed, it, it she went down with it. If she completely hard reset it like she did, and then you did, it should just completely take out your emails and everything, right? Yeah. It'll delete everything. It should take everything like... out of that phone. Yeah, sure. and it did. And that's what I'm saying. The only thing I can get to download is my Gmail and contacts. Huh. Hey, can you make calls on it and stuff? Yeah, I can make calls. Uh, go. Is that where the network's out for your No, that's phone? where it was signed in from. Supposedly that's where your phone is so located. Weird. Is there a locator thing on your phone that you can so update it on location? Apparently the locator is what screws because it won't. I, I, I have no internet. The connection. location is really I mean, internet will, it says I have no connection when I'm, I've got the Wi-Fi and huh. I've got 14 apps that, that won't download, update, or download, Facebook, all that stuff. Huh. My, uh, Is that my settings? Or my Google Photos. My SD card disappeared out of the top of my toolbox, so I've lost all my photos. Danny says she's got everything back up on her computer. Yeah. Which I'm hoping my pictures are. But if not, but on that SD card, and it's, I don't know if the wind blew it out of the top of my toolbox or what. And I took it out when I called to do the factory reset on it. Yeah. Because I didn't want to wipe out my SD card. Yeah. Setting. Well, there's all sorts of Android apps in that phone that are, uh, download managers, shit like that, and huh. I don't know nothing about them, so I haven't messed with them. That's why I had Justin work the other day. Mm -hmm. He took it in, put it in there on his desk. Time he was going in playing with it. Four hours I was trying to get my apps to update. It wouldn't do it. And when I do get to an app and try to download it, not only does it not say I don't have an internet connection, it says these apps not compatible with this device. That's, 
that's only 3G is all I've ever got. It's a 3G phone, and I've never gotten over two bars of signal. Okay. And I can be attached to Wi-Fi, and it shows my Wi-Fi connected. Uh -huh. Nothing. There's no signal going to Wi-Fi. You know, it's got that fan looking uh, deal for your Wi-Fi, and it'll show how many bars you got. I can be sitting right there in the Wi-Fi. Nothing. We're connected, but I don't have any. No nothing. I'm not going to my apps. Games on Play Store, go to my library where my Facebook and all that stuff is. Try to install it. No internet connection. And I'm burning that out. Are you? Did Jamie have another one? Yeah, I think Jamie has for about 47 foot pounds. No, I forgot about it. Meanwhile, I'm burning up a $55 phone. On a 3G phone that can't, can't connect. Oh, you got three bars now. <clears throat> yeah. I was hoping it would work. We tried, I guess. Hey, Dave, does this look right well, to I'm you, though? I don't know. I mean, oh, no. like you want to look at this, Dave, and see? Dave. Let me grab my glasses and see if it out. Hey, maybe I. Where I did everything with the chain. Yeah, Maybe I should have messed a little bit more, but I don't. Right. Unless that's just how that one is. Give it a little bit of gap in there to let dust fall. Oh, you mean, yeah, in between? Yeah. Probably. Or is it supposed to. I don't know if it would overlap or not. I would. Oh, it just it looks weird to me. But I never really looked at it. Just because I haven't much on this bike. It'll have a little bit of a gap. What are you supposed to park to on there? This is only 47. The Hondas I've had to work on are like 65 and 69. Uh, no shit. Yeah. That was pretty sure. <laughs> As long as you've never broke anything loose with it. I hit go and then I can close out of it. I see it's one of the doubles. So it's got three eights and But I just oh, had to swap this around because it doesn't. It Like when we were trying to torque his, mm -hmm. when I have it the side, it wasn't clicking. Really? So. Huh. So, I mean, it's just a cheap junker one. It was like, I think, 30 bucks from Home Depot. Right. Or 40 maybe, if that. So. Oh, yeah, that'd be huge. Yeah, I see people with those. Those things doesn't work on power bombs. They're only 20 bucks. This one can attach a two liter bottle. That's a cheap 17 bucks. Oh, yeah, I should get a couple of these. What are you looking at? This little handheld mister can get one oh, yeah? to two liter bottles for 16 bucks. And those little ones are only eight bucks. Now, fun, like, caught it It's got the little battery operated fans yeah. on. Yeah. Can I show them this one? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. What you missing? I'm not sure where. I'm not sure where. Like this one yeah. is a little big for what we need it for. I you buy these ones at Walmart. I'll get it quick for more. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Here, I want one of these really big misters. Okay. They're huge. They're cool. I just want one to put up on the like up on the porch. That you just hook to your hose and stuff. Yeah. That would be sweet. Well, whenever I get my back patio. Right there? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to find that fucking job back there. Oh, yeah. 
I want to extend the porch still out where the sidewalk starts. Right. Because I want to swing that up there. Yeah. Because the porch is still there. It's one thing I really want to do it, but I think we're going to have to replace the wood. I think this whole corner is beaten out. It goes all the way down. Oh, yeah. Did you tell da or Dad what happened to the car porch? Yeah, I should. Sure. <laughs> What are we doing on our roof yesterday? The guy that brought the shingles and stuff stuck him under here and they pushed him way back with the fork where right. his fork is. That's the guy that came to pick it up. I guess I can finish this then, huh? Since no one's on, I had one like. All right. There you had it. Wow, why is that so zoomed in? Someone messed with it. Look. There's my volunteers. Yeah. Oh, I think it's done. Huh, supervisor. Mounted and balanced, aired up. I know, we could ride up there. So, they say rule of thumb, 100 mile break-in period on motorcycle tires. So take it easy, find a road with some curves to lean into it a little bit and get all sides of it, except for the side walls. You don't want to do that. But uh, yeah, mounted, balanced, bike master. Uh, Motion Pro tools, couple breaker or tire levers from Harbor Freight, and all that fun jazz. So uh, if I ever get around to it, I will re-edit the description, put links to all the tools that I used in the description there. Um, yeah, sorry I didn't do much talking. It's been crazy letting them watch so they can learn, and then they can pay me to balance their tires next time since I didn't charge this last time. <laughs> and... Uh, all that fun stuff, so like, comment, subscribe, thumbs down if you hated it because I didn't really explain much, but rear axle nut on the uh, Marauder 800 is 47 foot-pounds uh, with the brake arm. Um, those are usually, I didn't look at what mine is here, but they're usually like around 14 foot-pounds, so basically a little more than hand tight. Um, about an inch slack in the chain when you tighten it up so and it looked like it was going pretty straight there's a little bit of slack might need to actually loosen it up just a tad no that's good but should be good to go so if you guys enjoyed it like comment subscribe thumbs down if you hated it let me know if you've done this on your own and if you enjoy it and how much you charge people to do it i'm going to charge him next time twice anyways that is all, and I will see you guys later since I wasted an hour and a half of your time and didn't really do anything, but um, it works. So if you live in the Hoisington, Kansas,